This is the greatest act I've ever seen. From the moment I walked off the stage, I knew I want to come back. I love creating new magic. I think up original tricks and unusual methods by filling my mind with an enormous amount of data. The history of mankind, the place of Shakespeare. I learned a few digits of pi, not too many, a few thousands maybe. And from all of this comes the inspiration for some new and unusual magic. That's where tonight's trick came from. Pen, teller. You've never seen a combination like this because it's brand new. And that's how I might fool you. See if you can wrap your head around the magic of Harry Keaton. Have you ever, have you ever tried to remember someone's name, remember, and it won't come out? It is buried somewhere in your cranium. You have it at the tip of your tongue, but you just can't retrieve it. I've invented a magical solution for this kind of mental block. I'll demonstrate with a few names I found on the internet. These are the most famous people known by one name. You know, like Aristotle, Adele, or Banksy, Beethoven, Picasso, Elvis, Teller. <laughs> and Brooke can choose her favorite. Brooke, please tick any box you like. It's up to you. Don't let anybody see, especially not me. Okay. And memorize the name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, put it over here, all the way back, please. Hi. Face down, if you will, and join me again. Hi. Here. Now, no, you just stand here. Now you're holding a name in your mind that only you know. I am. Okay, great. Let's pretend it is stuck there. How can we retrieve it? I've got some mental blocks for your mental block. Please choose any cube you like. It's up to you. Any cube. Which one would you like to have? It's I up to you. would like this one, cube. That's one? Yes. That's the one? Yes. You want to change? Okay, I'll take you this can. one. You can? You want to yeah. change again? No? no? Okay. Please come over here and have a seat. Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Now, one side should be black on this side. Is that true? Yes. Uh, and the key to this working is to keep a positive mental attitude, which okay. you have, I know. So okay. please draw a smiley on the black side. Okay. See, on the black side, okay? Okay. Hello, Pen. <laughs> Hello, Tail. You may have your eyes on me, but I have my eyes on you too. Throw this, throw this chalk in the net, please. The chalk goes in the net, that's it. Have a look, is that tube really empty? Yes. 100%. Is this tube empty too? Yes. You bet. Now please take the block in your left hand. Your left hand, that's it. And hold the right hand flat. Yes, that's it. And grab it from underneath. You got it? Because I would love to, to demonstrate. Can I have it? Yes. I would love to demonstrate something. See? Something will happen. And you tell me if, I've, if you feel it, okay? Did you yes. feel it? Yes. Lift, lift the tube. See, it just falls through. Now what is going to happen? This block travels into the tube, through the tube, through the ear, into the head, and hopefully out of the head again. And thanks to your smiley, this block is unique. Now, let's put this away. And I don't want to touch this anymore. Because, because I don't want to touch it anymore. I don't want to contaminate it before your surgery. My surgery. Your surgery. My surgery. Let me have this. Please look straight ahead. But don't worry. <clears throat> it's okay. only a minor operation. <laughs> can we fix it? Yes, we can. <laughs> you will feel a slight pressure at your ear. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Close your eyes. Relax, relax. Maybe it works. Good, 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 good. good. Are you all good? Are you all done? I'm good. Uh, excellent. Are you done? <laughs> now we have direct access to your brain. Please take the tube at the handle and hold it at your ear. That's it. Great. And take this tube.
and hold it at your ear. Oh Perfect. Boy. That's it. Hey. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, don't think, don't move. Otherwise, the block might get stuck in your head. Okay. At the count three, two, one. This block with book Smiley will cure her mental block, okay? <laughs> and you tilt your body to the left when I say so, okay? okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Three. Two. And one. Bend, 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 bend. Bend. Whoa! You can let go. You can let go here. And you can let go here. You can let go here. Woo! Have a look. Is that really your block? Make it to is it your block? That's of course, my block. it is your block. Uh, wow. Can you please stand up? Can you please stand up? Now remember, we had Scared. all different kind of blocks, different shapes, different colors. You could have taken a blue one, a brown one, a red one, a yellow one, and you changed. You wanted a green one. Mm -hmm. Now this block has a very special core. The core consists of a highly sensitive paper. This paper retrieves thoughts. And at the beginning, we had one name in mind. My thoughts? Yeah, one name in, into your mind. What was the name you were thinking of? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Ah! Shakespeare! How do you feel? Everything well, okay? Well, that was bizarre and strange and yes, that's crazy what and mind-blowing. Blowing. I hope it was, that's yes. amazing. What's your favorite thing about magic? Well, I think it's about the complexity. The complexity, I think, is such fascinating to you. Mm -hmm. To work with the audience, to have that communication thing, and at the same time, I'm hiding something. Mm -hmm. So it's like almost like uh, schizophrenic. But of course, you want to reach your audience on an emotional level. You know, it should be fun as well. So, you know, when I'm, when I'm working a drill on your head, so that's, uh, that's not too intellectual. It's All right, Harry, let's, yes. see let's see if Penn and Teller know how you pulled that name right out of my head. Yes. Are we ready? Yes, we Boys. are ready. Hey, Harry, yes. boy, boy, we love you. But that last thing you did just absolutely fried us. Six. We love the way you think your magic doesn't look like anything else. And a lot of times in magic, you're trying to get things that are justified and make sense. And you do stuff that is not justified and doesn't make sense and makes it <laughs> surreal and wonderful. And although it wasn't supposed to be the fooler in this trick, the drill into the head with the uh, sawdust or the, I guess, brain matter blowing through was just so funny and so terrific. It just looked Thanks, great sir. all the way through. And we also love the way you put stuff together. You just layer stuff. You just go through an advanced magic book, go through the index, and you'd find, you know, there's mentalism, there's prop magic, there's prediction, there's uh, the block and tube trick. It's all stuff we're familiar with, all stuff we'd see there, but put together beautifully. And uh, last time you fooled us, and this time we don't think you did, but boy, we loved it. And boy, we loved you drilling through Brooke's head, even though we <laughs> loved Brooke. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, Thank you. Did they figure out your trick? I think they did. Oh, Congratulations. Well done. Bye-bye. Thanks for drilling through my head.